Hey guys, my name is Shirley and welcome to Learning With Purpose where it's all about helping you achieve your educational goals. Alright, so if you're watching this video at the time that I'm posting it, you're about 7 days to 10 days out from your HSC, which means the HSC is actually around the corner. No, it's not even around the corner. You are at the corner and the HSC is staring right at you in the face. So this is time to be like grinding like crazy, working hard and giving it your all. So I've got about 5 things that I'm going to go through. Alright, so to begin with, in regards to your notes, if you are still making notes a week out of your HSC, you need to stop. I am sorry, but if you have not finished them, you've had plenty of time to do your notes throughout the year. But right now, a week out of your HSC, it is way too late to be doing your notes. So what I suggest that you do if you do not have notes for certain topics, go online and try to find some notes. There's so many resources online, I'm pretty sure you'll be able to find some notes. They may not be to the standards that you like, but that's the price that you have to pay for not doing your notes. So go online, try to find some good notes. If you can't, try to ask a friend if they're going to be willing to do that for you, which is a big ask and personally it's not something that you should be proud of, but it's something that you're going to have to be doing because there's no point really in writing your notes. If you can't find some notes of someone, or like a previous student, or if you can't find notes offline, then go through the chapter summaries of your textbook. So don't read the whole chapter of your textbooks, but quickly go through the summary just so that you get a brief idea of what the content is like. But one thing that I do need to emphasize is do not be making notes at this stage. So next up is past papers. Right now, past papers should be your best friend. If anything, you need to be doing them on a, ba on, on a daily basis. And when I say on a daily basis, you should be looking at around minimum of two past papers a day. I wouldn't be doing like five past papers because that's just insane. But yeah, try to do two whole past papers on about a daily basis. Maybe do that for like five days out of the week and then take the other two days or um, two days break off past papers. But yeah, they need to be your Bible pretty much they are the best practice that you can be doing now because right now it's not so much about learning content at this stage but it's about perfecting skill and you can only perfect skill if you actually practice what you're meant to be doing in those kinds of conditions so you need to be when you're doing your past papers you need to be doing them in exam conditions don't have your notes open next to you don't be like saying oh i'll do a few questions go run off watch tv and then i'll come back and finish off the rest of the past paper no if anything set up your desk as if you were actually in the hsc have the stationery that you are going to be using in your actual exam sit down put a timer on and focus when you're doing your past papers do it like mimic pretty much the HSC so that when you are actually in the HSC exam, you're not going to be surprised. There's nothing that's going to be new, but you will already know how you're going to attack it. Now, the key thing is the best thing about past papers is you're able to see how best you work. Some people, let's say if there's a multiple choice section, there's short answers and there's extended response. Some people work best by doing an extended response first, then go to multiple choice and then vice and whatever. Other people work best by doing things in chronological order. So when you do past papers, you're able to see, okay, what is the best way that I can utilize my time throughout my exam? You're able to see, okay, which ones are my weak areas and how much time should I dedicate to each area? When I went through my HSC exam, I knew, ex for example, for SOR, I knew how many minutes it's going to take me to get through multiple choice, how many minutes it's going to take me to get through my essay, and how many minutes it's going to take me to go through my short answers. Why? Because I'd smashed out so many past papers beforehand. So do as many as you can and try to perfect technique. Once you do it, don't just leave it as, as, as it is. Actually analyze your performance. See, which sections am I doing best in? What is my weakness? Am I having trouble recalling my, um, recalling my quotes? Am I having trouble recalling my statistics? Um, what's my area of weakness? And get someone else to mark it for you, especially your teachers. We're gonna go through this a bit later on in the video as well. Get somebody to mark it for you. Don't just write a paper and just leave it there. The marking part is the important part because it, it allows you to see where your weaknesses are. All right, next up is teachers. Your teachers right now need to be your best friends. 
you need to be emailing your teachers pretty much on a daily basis asking them to mark your responses for you your teachers i'm pretty sure most of them have taught the hsc subjects many many times before this is your first time going through a hsc they've done it heaps of times before so as much as you may think otherwise they do know a bit more than you actually do so you need to be utilizing them as a resource don't feel bad for sending them like 50 sample um, essays to mark that's their job and they understand that this is like peak period throughout the year so yeah use your teachers if you have any questions please do not go into your an exam with an unanswered question send them an email go up to school meet them after lunch uh, um, during lunchtime if they are willing to do that use them um, to the best of your ability because that is what they are there for and they have a whole lot of experience that can help you out all right next up is sleep so I understand that you may be feeling a bit overwhelmed and you may feel like there's so much work to do at the moment and you may feel like you may need to be sacrificing sleep and although I am on I do believe on the whole grind and hustle hard and keep pushing until you can't push any further but right now sleep is of such importance because your brain is absorbing so much knowledge. Your brain is trying to remember so much content. Guys, the amount of work, the amount of stuff you have to remember for your HSC is quite a lot. So your brain is really right now in override mode. So you need to give it the amount of rest that it needs. You need to be getting your seven to eight hours of sleep during this one week leading up to your exam and even during the period that you actually do have your exam. You might like stay up at like, until like 3 a.m. and try to cram in as much knowledge but while you're cramming in that knowledge your brain could be so exhausted that it's remembering other no uh, it's forgetting other bits of concepts so yes you're feeding your brain some things and you're trying to cram it but then you're forgetting other things because you're not really allowing your brain to sink in the information you're not allow giving it enough time to rest so please 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 make sure you're getting enough sleep next thing i want to talk to you guys about is mindset mindset is of absolute importance at this point of time you know it is so 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 key you know i understand that at this time you may be a bit tired you may be exhausted you don't want to see the word discovery anymore you just don't want to deal with the hsc but literally you guys are, are actually nearly there this time next month you'll be done you won't have to look at any syllabus you won't have to do anything like that regarding the hsc so keep pushing throughout this last um last little bit of um, the race i want to say make sure that you're surrounding yourself with positive vibes um throughout this year people get tend to get a lot very tense and they tend to, oh, i hate it when students say this so much I, i'm guilty i used to say it a lot but it's something that you really don't want to be saying don't say things like, oh my goodness, I don't know anything. Oh my goodness, I'm not ready. Oh my goodness, I'm so scared. Oh this, this, that. Don't say things like that. That's not positive energy. That's not positive vibes. If anything, you're just freaking yourself out and giving yourself unnecessary stress. You do know your content. You have worked hard. You do know your stuff. So please don't be surrounding yourself with negativity. Guard your mindset. Protect your mindset. Don't cloud yourself with negativity. Don't ground, cloud yourself with stress because that's not going to benefit you in any way. If anything, that's just putting more pressure to your brain, which is already working a lot right now. And you really do not need any extra added pressure on your brain. So, yeah. Okay, so um, that is pretty much all that I have for you guys for this video. Again, I do apologize if I was a bit tough on you guys, but I really do want you guys to be successful because I strongly believe that everyone deserves the chance to make success for themselves so if you did like this video please do give it a like um, comment down below and share it around with your friends so that they too can have access to this information um, if you have any videos that you would like me to do in the upcoming weeks don't hesitate to send me an email slide into my DMS or comment down below it's really not a biggie just tell me what you guys want to see and yeah so with all that being said and done dream big and hustle hard I'll see you again next time. Bye.